Hi guys, my name is Mead. This is going to be a review for Figma. This is an exclusive number 19 and in particular we're taking a look at Kaga. And this is from the Kantai collection or Kankoli uh, where you have the battleship girls. <laughs> and uh, this is the sister to Akagi which I recently uh, reviewed and another aircraft Akira class. Pretty cool. And actually initially I've chose to pick this one instead of Akagi and which I was kind of regretting not getting her, then I finally got Akagi. So, finally got both of them. And I got this recently, yep, from Good Small Company. Here we go on the back, see both of them. And I'm up to episode 2, uh, basically what's available right now for the Kankuli anime. And I'm liking it so far. I think the last episode actually showed more about Akagi. I kind of wonder what the, maybe the few, uh, couple more episodes down the road, they will, we'll see more about Kaga. And I kind of wish uh, they've done that already so I can s say more about uh, her. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, a quick side-by-side -side comparison with Akagi and Kaga. They look great next to each other. And again, I'm really happy that I went back and grabbed Akagi. <laughs> so... Basically, they're pretty much all, uh, the same in terms of style. Uh, difference being uh, the color, it's number one. But uh, in terms of overall, I can see again you get the satchel on the side, the armor plates. Um, well, this landing gear or the deck is slightly uh, molded differently for her, and it's on the left arm instead of the right. And she doesn't have this anchor thing on the side that gets in the way kind of wish they don't have that for Akagi because it prevents her from moving her neck left or head le left or right uh, Akagi doesn't have that which is great <laughs> yeah and I think that's pretty much it and something also tells me that this is not really an armor since I uh, I mean, one of them is to wield the bow, and the other one's to pull the arrow, and it probably just gets in the way. But that's just how they are designed. <laughs> yep, really nifty. Right, um, I think that's pretty much it for just comparison. And let's take a closer look at Kaga. All right, we got Kaga here, and again, she looks amazing. All the details, really nifty. <laughs> And then just quickly, in terms of articulation, again, without that hindering her head. I have a mid-waist articulation. You got the satch here, which is connected on the other side of the waist. Uh, this one is fixed. And I just realized this is basically this side here of the, the deck. Uh, what else we got here? You get the uh, waist. I think they're all similar. Which uh, starts out here. And that uh, splits on the back here, which allows her to, you know, move uh, if she needs to do you know, certain poses. Yep. <laughs> and uh, you get a swivel of the legs, the knee. We see a slightly gray uh, knee joint there, as well as the feet here. It's actually quite nice. Uh, we get the arms here. It's a little unsightly. Uh, there's a, a bit of a gap there. Kind of wish they put uh, a little bit uh, an extra sleeve on the shoulder. But from afar, you probably won't notice it. And if certain in posts, you can hide that. And you get the elbow bend, the wrist joints. And uh, likewise, similar to Akagi, you can have uh, plenty of hands to choose from the holding hands, open hands. And I believe this one, you get the accessory of uh, kind of like a parf, well, probably not a parfait, but it's like a sundae ice cream. And it seems like a mint leaf on top. And it's still in this like clear plastic. Really cool. Let's see if we can have her hold it. Like so. I'll probably do that in a bit. Then you have a different uh, assortment for hands for holding the arrow and releasing the arrow over there. And you also have this one. <laughs> and you get the bow. It's a long bow. Holds here. And what else we got? 
You also got the wrist joints in case uh, uh, one of them breaks. And uh, let's just go over the faces here. You get the smiling one. Um, I haven't really uh, seen uh, much of her in the anime to give her or kind of gauge what her characteristic is. But you also have one where she's kind of sad. So yeah, she might be the opposite of Akagi. Akagi is a little bit more carefree, likes to eat a lot of rice. And <laughs> from the anime, she likes a lot of curry. Um, but this one, she just, uh, Kaga likes desserts. So they're probably opposites. All right, next up, we're gonna also have arrows. So uh, from the previous video, uh, Ulrich, I think the eight, um, mentioned that these uh, represent the airplanes. You get the zeros, or the white one, and you also have the torpedo airplanes, which drums, uh, like an aerial bombing. <laughs> Pretty cool. Or they could be, well, they're torpedoes. They probably just uh, release a torpedo, and once the Torpedo hits the water, it will shoots out. Yeah, pretty cool. So I think uh, that's pretty much it in terms of accessories. Now let's uh, do some interchanging of the hands. All right, <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if this is probably one of the posts where she's trying to uh, feed some ice cream to Akagi. Yep. <laughs> Right on this post, we have the drawing of the arrow, and I kind of like uh, having this again the deck on her left arm. Seems a little bit more easier as opposed to Akagi, where she's drawing and it's on her arm. Yep, probably keep her on this pose. <laughs> and there we go, she can smile too. <laughs> and I forgot to mention that you do have a little bit of articulation on this ponytail. Uh, not so much. You can probably just swivel it around or have it like that. <laughs> yep, and I think that's pretty much it for the review. And that's about it. Again, Kaga is an amazing figure. Goes really well with her sister Akagi. And hoping that the, in the anime kind of shows a bit more of her personality. And uh, we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's worthy of an exclusive, and if you can find her, yeah, great. Uh, it is kind of hard lately, especially with the craze with Kainkali stuff. But yeah, highly recommend uh, picking her up. Alright, that's about it for the review. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's about it. So till then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.